thirsty? Would you like coffee, tea, or pee? Hey everyone, Lacey Green for D News. You've seen it in movies and heard it a bunch of times, perhaps even from doctors. Urine is sterile, right? Right? Wrong, actually. Researchers at Loyola University have presented yet another study about bacteria in your pee. But first, let's back up a little bit. Urine is composed of 95% water. The remaining 5% contain over 3,000 compounds, most of which are your kidneys disposing of waste. This includes extra nitrogen from the liver in the form of urea, and excess electrolytes like calcium, sodium, and potassium. Electrolytes serve an important function in the body. They help conduct electrical impulses between your cells, and the impulses need to stay in check because they control your hydration, blood acidity, and muscle function. But when you have too many electrolytes, they can do you dirty. Too much sodium causes dehydration, and too much potassium can cause a heart attack. Urine also contains trace amounts of acidic toxins from your kidneys and bacteria. So the research recently presented at the American Society of Microbiology found that healthy bladders also have certain bacteria in them that are excreted through your pee. The loyal researchers also found that people with bladder problems have a different type of bacteria in there. They say the idea that urine is sterile simply isn't true, and those bacteria are important. So what does this mean for those of you who are hell-bent on drinking your own pee? Obviously, you can drink your own pee. Nobody's going to physically stop you, probably. And we've all seen 127 Hours, right? If you haven't, you should. That was a good movie. But we've all heard these crazy stories of people surviving off their own pee. The thing is, the likelihood that they survive because of the pee is debatable. When you drink your urine, you put back into your body all the waste that it was trying to dispel, thereby forcing your body to reprocess it. With each successive cycle of pee, there's more and more waste, and continuing to drink it will quickly take a toll on your body as the toxins build up and your body becomes more, not less, dehydrated. So this is especially true if a muscle is torn because it can leak potassium and phosphorus into the bloodstream. Still, that doesn't stop some hardcore believers in the practice of drinking your own urine. The real guy behind 127 Hours himself believes it helps save his life. There are also people who do it because they believe it's healing. Urine therapy is an ancient practice where people drink their own urine to cure diseases and cancer. They also use it to moisturize their face and fight wrinkles. It's a practice that's been around for thousands of years. Urologists in the American Cancer Society say that there's no data behind it though. So, in other words, if you have cancer, you should probably see a doctor instead of drinking a nice warm glass of your own pee. Thanks for joining me for D News. Would you drink your own pee if you were desperate or maybe for healing? Tell me about it down below. We'll see you next time with more D News updates.